Shabbat Shalom. It's uh, Rabbi Stephen here, Rob Shmuel ben Yehoshua. Yes, Rosh be in the house with a Friday night sermon for Friday, February 14th. And this talks about Jewish karma yoga. So in India, there is a tradition of the Vedas. Although this knowledge is associated with Hinduism, they also stand alone as a profound body of knowledge. These are ancient books, texts, and treatises that talk about the reality of the universe and are a guide to enlightenment. Enlightenment, as espoused by the Vedas, is that state of consciousness in which one is attuned to the mechanisms of the universe and all of his or her actions are correct from that standpoint. So there are gurus in India that live in the Himalayas, or for people in the Himalayas, and practice this body of knowledge all their lives. People go to learn and study from these gurus. They spend a great deal of time serving these wise men, usually, and by almost osmosis, gain enlightenment in that service. From the Vedas, we get yoga. The Sanskrit word means yoke, as in the center of an egg, and the connotation is union. The idea of practicing yoga, then, is to gain union with the cosmos and thus gain enlightenment, that state of consciousness in which one performs right action spontaneously. There are different forms of yoga. Many of us hear that word and we think of hatha yoga, which is the various poses that are practiced in succession to gain a state of relaxation, or more commonly as a workout. Other forms of yoga exist, such as meditation. Now, another form of yoga is karma yoga, the practice of right action. In our flow of Torah, we are now reading from the book of Exodus. Hashem has dispatched Pharaoh and his minions and made the Egyptians impotent to harass the Israelites. The Torah now focuses on the course of building up and developing this beautiful philosophy and heritage that we now call Judaism. As Genesis talked about the origins of our culture with key figures who recognize the oneness and omniscience of the ever-present God, you know, the guru sort of, we now focus on the principles that will forever drive our new culture as it builds into a new religion. Moses, our main guru, now starts to introduce the Israelites to our own karma yoga, which are, of course, the commandments. He is given by God to give to the Israelites at first the Ten Commandments. These are the base of our lives, and the other 603 commandments will build on them and emanate from them. Torah is our Veda, and the commandments are our karma yoga, our right action. People say, I wish there was a rule book on life. There is, and we're studying it. When you perform right action, or mitzvot, you live a good life. The second paragraph of the Shema is call, called by our sages or gurus as the paragraph of justice, or you guessed it, karma. As you do, so do you receive. If you diligently perform the commandments in accord with the Brit or covenant, good things will happen. If you don't, bad things will happen. The rabbis call this measure for measure, as in eye for eye, tooth for tooth, life for life. It is very easy in Judaism to perform right action and thereby give live a, a righteous life. Just follow the commandments and everything will fall into place and you'll live an enlightened life. Well, not really. We all know that reality is a little different than that, than that concept. Reality doesn't always play out in reality. That doesn't mean the concept is wrong and you shouldn't strive to be righteous. Things happen on their own accord and in their own time. As the third paragraph of the Shema states, in telling us to put seat seats in the corners of our garments and mezuzot on the doorposts of our houses and gates, we should not follow our hearts or our eyes, but stick to these commandments. This is the reminder that religious, that righteousness is a constant and lifelong process, and it's why we study Torah. What happens when you do good? You create a goodness around you. Now, sure, there will be bad around you and people who don't uh, have your best interest in situations that are not to your liking, but the point of the Jewish karma yoga is to show you the path as to how to deal with things as they come up. As we practice Judaism and live these commandments, we see our lives surround us with good influence more and more. When we encounter challenges that may either be the result of previous not so good actions or maybe a test to sharpen our resolve, we always revert back to God's law. And that way we know that we're doing right and getting closer to righteousness.